I want to talk to you today about a technique that I used to perfect my uh, coffee steaming process. Now the thing with, uh, with milk in coffee is that if you don't steam it correctly, um, it will come out watery and bubbly and the flavour is quite thin. Uh, when you steam it correctly, you will get a nice thick creamy texture. And that's important for when you're making a flat white or a cappuccino or latte, um, even a piccolo. So uh, practice, practice, practice. It does pay off. Um, the problem, however, is that you're going to go through a lot of milk practicing. Um, what I've found to be an excellent training aid is to use regular dish soap instead of milk. So this is, this is how I do it. Um, just grab some plain tap water and add one or two drops of regular dish soap. Just like that. Now the benefit here is that the, the uh, dish soap will behave like, like milk will in texturing. So um, we want to produce a nice creamy, velvety uh, texture to our milk. Um, to do that we're going to plunge the, the milk jug into the steam wand um, and we want to think of the process being each time the bubble passes the steam wand it is split in half again and again and again and that's what creates that nice microfoam. Um, so this is what we do. Give the steam wand a bit of a purge and uh, start off with the steam one buried right to the bottom and just off the bottom a little bit. So it's only about a centimetre or two off the bottom. Um, and then we'll turn the steam wand on fully. And then, and then we'll, drop, we'll drop the steam wand so it's just breaking the surface. And we'll keep on doing that until it gets to about 35 degrees, which is you know, close enough to body temperature. We don't have to use a thermometer, it does help. Um, but I can feel that 35 degrees is body temperature. Once it starts to get warm, I know I've gone beyond that. And that's the point where I'll bury the, the steam wand into the milk, just to continue the heating process. It's no longer splitting the milk. And then, and then turn the steam wand off. Now with my babbling, I didn't quite get it as good as I would like. You can see there's still some bubbles in there. With regular milk, a couple of taps would tap that out. <laughs> Interesting, but anyway. Um, and you can see there, it is a nice, thick, creamy texture. Now, of course, there's the wrong way to do it. And I'll show you that now. So if I add water, So I'm adding water and a couple of, do couple of drops of dish soap rather than using milk. Come back over to the machine. Now you can see, like they do it in the movies, lots of noise, lots of up and down action. It looks impressive, it looks like you're making a coffee, but what will happen is, is you end up with a bubbly mess. It's thin and watery. I've exaggerated it a lot here, but you can see it's thin and watery and not quite the consistency you're after. So when you pour that, you're gonna get, you're gonna get bubbles. So if you compare the two, one has a thin watery texture, the other one is a much more smooth, velvety, creamy, creamy flavor. Um, so that's my technique, my little training aid, just regular dish soap with uh, water um, and go to work and practice, practice, practice. Um, that's going to be the difference between thin and watery milk or a nice creamy velvety milk.